Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Moon, and as well rising Monte Tarot reading October 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we're going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month is going to be the Page of Wands, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Knight of Wands. Furthermore, we do have the, the King of Pentacles which represents uh, the best possible approach toward the situation or the, uh, the things that you should be ready to do in order to capitalize fully on the month here, that is going to be the King of Pentacles. The next one, it is the lesson why all this is happening, right? What you need to learn from the months. And that will be the Five of Swords. The last one, it's the um, supporting energies, the things that you can rely on, right? Uh, that will be the Sun card. So um, it's time to make a, a, an important decision throughout the month, guys. It's just, it looks like uh, that. And uh, rest assured, it does look like that the investment that you're going to do as well is going to pay off eventually. But before we go into all that, let's run the cards one more time. So the topic, it is the Page of Wands, followed by the challenge of the Knight of Wands. Then we do have the a possible, the uh, best possible way how you can take on that. That will be the, knight, the uh, King of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is the lesson that you need to learn here. That will be the Five of Swords. And then the last one. It is the Sun card, which stands as a um, supporting energies. All right, so Page of Wands. Well, this this month for you is going to revolve around this person here, and it's catalyzed by the Six of Pentacles. So we do have an, an active an, uh, active neutrals uh, in this uh, situation. So let's talk about the person of the Page of Wands. That, that kind of an, an individual, they are very energetic and very active, either in a social circle, either in relationship, either in career as well. They simply overflow the environment with ideas, with carefree behavior as well. Their downfall, however, is that they're very proud. I mean, they think that they can do everything on their own and they should be always um, serve as an, an example. Now, while it seems that outside the page is untouchable in a sense that nothing you, you say or nothing you, you do is going to influence them in any way, that page is very, very fragile from within. I mean, it, it kind of like lives through everything that you do say and everything that you do as well. So what happens here with these two cards is that this page lost his way. It's simply... Um, it's it, it finding itself in a very, very unnatural situation, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And because of it, that page is trying to create their way out in a sense of that creatively to, to find a way out without knowing what to do, what, what they're doing. And that itself, you know, could lead for 
toward a big disasters, let's say, um, uh, let, let's just face it that way, all right? So someone uh, dealing with a so important project at work, not knowing what to do, doing things without thinking twice about it, that could seriously damage the project, let, let alone it could cause the project itself. So um, uh, the, the whole deal here is that to convince this page that they do need your help, all right? That they do need you to guide them. That, that's the whole point to guide them either into your relationship or into their relationship or into their career as well. Because the page does not dwell on ill emotions, okay? Does not have those kind of like a, uh, a jealousy or greed or anything like that. It's just, you know, they, they still have a lot to learn from life. And uh, it does look like that you are around to teach, uh, to teach them. Now, what is going to be the challenge here? We do have another person who is the Knight of Wands. And it's catalyzed by the Knight of Cups. Now, this one here wants fast results. Now, this looks like a triangle or three people, you and these two people working upon the same thing, right? And the page is trying to find its place. And this one here, well, he cannot stand the page because this one wants fast results and the reluctancy of the page itself like deprives the whole situation from result from uh, from a um, from results, I'm sorry, and from resolving as well. But the thing is that should this be a love triangle, the page being reluctant towards you, not knowing how to act upon the situation. This one here sees that opportunity, sees that window and attack you straight away. It just, you know, tries to devour your time for themselves with the hope that you are going to forget about the page. All right. But the thing is that this one here, the page of uh, the, the Knights of Wands, especially with this card, the Knights of Cups, a active enemies, one of the fearsome enemies, it's not willing to put the efforts behind while the page is. It is just the page lacks direction. It lacks the idea. All the idea that the page has, it, they are wrong ideas. Okay, This one has the idea, but it is not willing to, to, to put the efforts behind. It just looks for cutting corners, for shortcuts, you know. And if someone else can do the things for them, that will be the best possible uh, resolution of the situation itself. Knight of Wands, uh, you have to be very careful with them, all right? Because these people were purely driven by interest in a sense of that when they, if they find you interesting and they find the endeavors in between you, in between you two interesting, they will stick with you. But as soon as, uh, as soon as they lose interest or they face rough times, they will jump into something more interesting. So I'm saying that especially for those who are dealing with two people in their romantic uh, lives and you know they don't know which one to choose okay so the one who is more aggressive it is the one that will most likely abandon you as soon as they lose interest in you at least according to this uh, to this reading and uh, the next card it is the uh, best possible approach toward the situation here we do have the king of pentacles and it is accompanied by the king of wands so uh, with this uh, combo, it is a, a passive neutrals and uh, the, the whole, the, these cards are advising you to drop off your um, sense of exhilaration or rather like a, a sense of joyful life and instead think with your head, okay? And do the decision which one you are going to proceed with, the Page of Wands or the, the, or the Knights of Wands, purely based on future benefits, thinking, you know, which one, for example, you can control better, which one is going to listen to you, which one is going to stick with you when you are going through a rough time, because that is the most important thing. While in the same time, you just don't give yourself away for free, all right? Either regardless, is this going to be a career or is this going to be a relationship? You search or seek for a warranties. So that person, whomever you decide to go by with, moving forward into the future needs to prove you that they will stick with you to the very end okay and they need to prove that with actions not with words but with actions and uh, additionally to that with these uh, with these two cards you shouldn't seek for immediate results okay um, and uh, there will be a lot of um, changes into the plan uh, and it does look like that at least throughout the month 
whomever you decide to cooperate with. All right, things are going to just you're going to take one thing at a time uh, because you ain't going to know what tomorrow is going to hold. It's like tomorrow is going to be promised to no one or what happens tomorrow is going to be promised to no one. So it's important to focus on the current deeds, you know, on the current circumstances, uh, secure them first and then and then see what awaits you tomorrow. So why this is all happening? We do have the Five of Swords and it is catalyzed here by the Ten of Wands. That is a very big lesson, guys. It's a very big lesson because, first of all, uh, you will learn how to restrict yourself in the sense of how to place limitations in front of self, in front of oneself, meaning that you will be, uh, that you will learn how to accurately um, place against one another um, I, I don't know how to describe it. One second. You know what it takes against what you are going to take out of it. All right. And um, limitations in the sense of that you may not, uh, that you are to recognize that a person cannot have everything they want. Okay. And even if they can have something they want, the price may not worth it. So it does look like that you are going to learn how to pay how to pay prices, how to pay prices for relationship, how to pay prices for a good job. If I may say, you will learn as well how to negotiate and in generally how to lead your battles because sometimes, um, uh, this is what I like to say in these cases, guys. The, what is the difference in between the true warrior and the legendary warrior? Well, that's the difference. The legendary warriors warrior take every battle and every challenge that addresses them and dies young. The true warrior, the true warrior, it's, uh, it's very smart and the true warrior recognizes the battles that they cannot win. So they flee to live and fight another day and they live for um, until uh, years of Eldritch, right? Or being elder, right? So, um, yeah, and, and this is the lesson that you're going to learn, which battles or which endeavors you should involve yourself in, which person of these, despite what they're showing at the start, okay, or in front of you, it's more compatible with you. It's not about what they can offer. It's about compatibility here. And the last card that we do have, it's about the uh, energies that are to support you. Fabulous energies here of the Sun card. Let's see what is going to be the catalyst. Oh my God, we do have... They uh, just discard and uh, this is in an explosive active supporters. So these are energies of growth. These are energies of money. These are energies of natural unfoldment. Regardless what you're going to choose, those energies are always going to strive you toward the right choice. So I, I don't want to say it, but at the end of the day, even if you decide in the favor of the wrong one here, okay, um, you will have the, how can I say it, the luxury to fix that decision, to make another, uh, another goal, to make another decision. Additionally to that, those energies here will help you to see through the lies, okay, and through the fallacious statements that either of these individuals can shoot you with. And finally, those energies will help you or yeah, these energies will help you to make such an arrangement of your uh, duties, responsibilities and tasks that you will be able to perform 110% in either of them. OK, so you will you are going to be very, very productive throughout the month. So that being said, Virgo, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading, October 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.